do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we got a really great PS2 tutorial today where we're sort of combining all these concepts that we may have learned in previous video tutorials for the PS2 and combine it into one. I was helping out a fellow user, Frog Mages, on Discord, and he had an issue with a particular pop starter game, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, working on his PS2. Bottom line is we got it working, but it was not an easy road to get there, so I thought it might be a good tutorial for those who love that particular game or other similar games that are having issues. So just to recap, um, we want to need a latest daily build of OPL. I find that works out well using Popstarter. If you want to use your own method to run Popstarter games, by all means, go ahead. And then there's a video tutorial I've done in the past about OPL and USB. So go ahead, check out that video tutorial. It goes in more detail on the process of how to make that work. And then second here is another video tutorial on CD Mage, where you have a game file that has multiple um, bin tracks with a single queue file, we can make a single bin, a single queue, and make that work for our purposes. And then also we need another program called OPL Manager V21.6. All right, so first thing is, because my game is pretty uh, foobar, the disk, I found a version online, downloaded it, extracted to its own folder to help save some time here. So this is what it looks like. We got track one, track two is a bin file, and then we have the queue file. Next is go ahead and run CDMH. So the version I have is version 1.02.1, and it should say CDMH B5 at the top. So we do file, open, navigate to wherever you got your game stored. So here's the queue file, say open. And then it's gonna look like my screen. Okay, so what you wanna do here is make sure the queue file is selected, file, save as, and I'm gonna make a new folder called temp and just resave it here. Say okay, default settings is okay. Now it's gonna save it with a single bin file and a single queue file. Once that is completed, next step we're gonna do is um, convert it to a VCD. So we go to PSX VCD, that's another program, and um, let me just imagine this is a fresh start. So say add files, go to your desktop or wherever you have your game that was just recently saved. Select the Q file. And then what we're gonna do here is um, VCD, right? And then go ahead, where's your destination? So it's gonna make a pops folder. So what I'm gonna do here is just go to my root and my F, say okay, and then say convert. So now it's gonna create a folder called pops on my USB thumb drive, and then it's gonna put this VCD file in there. Once the VCD file is saved, we're also gonna use another program Yes, I know. We're gonna use OPL Manager v21.6, version 21.6. That'll help us make sure we have the correct file name, we got the correct art, if you care about that kind of stuff, and OPL will be able to um, load the game properly. So, if we go to my USB thumb drive while the game is converting to VCD, if we go to the pops folder, you should have these files, pops underscore iox.pack, and then you also need popstarter.elf. If you want to know how to get these files, um, see my other video tutorial. Once you have those files, put it in the pops folder. And then any other future .vcd game uh, files, put those in this folder as well. And then uh, when you play your, your PS1 pop starter games, um, a virtual memory card is created. So that's what this particular folder here is basically. And then of course, get your latest open PS2 loader, ELF. You can store that on your memory card and boot that. If you have issues, um, making the game run. It could be you have an older version, OPL. So make sure you get a newer version. Okay, we see that it's done, awesome. So now what we're gonna do is run OPL Manager. We see that it has one bad name ISO, which is totally what I expect. And what happens is the game, we gotta fix the file name. When we try this, we see that the title character is 32 characters, way too long. So I'm just gonna rename this as SOTN, Symphony of the Night. Um, yeah, so try update file name, say yes. Okay, cool. If you wanna get new cover art, I can do that too. So go ahead, click start. I already had cover art, so it's not gonna replace it. That's perfectly fine with me. And we're pretty much good to go. So now all you gotta do is, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, Frog Mages, he had an issue where on his particular high definition TV component cables with the PS2 Slim, that once you load the game past the PS logo, it will go to a black screen or the TV may say 
um, video format not supported, something along those lines. So what you could do for those cases if that applies to you is you can make a text file called cheats.txt. Um, you can keep it all capital letters, so cheats and then .txt. Inside the cheats file have these two uh, codes, pow, um, dollar sign safe mode, and then the second line is dollar sign HD TV fix, file save. And then what you can do is take this text file, so I'm gonna say copy this text file, go to my USB thumb drive, and go to my PS2, pops folder, and just dump it here. So this is like a global command, or global cheats rather, for any future .vcd game file. And the trick for him in his particular case is when he had to load the game, load it once through uh, OPL. If the game freezes, that's okay. Reboot the PS2, load the game a second time, and then it should work successfully. I don't have an issue with my particular TV. I guess it's an old school TV, so I don't have an issue like that. But if you have a particular pop starter game, it's not working for you, it freezes, give that a try. It might work, you got nothing to lose. Okay, so that is the video tutorial. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna jump to my video game capture and show you this working um, in all its glory. So with that said, let's jump into the next portion of the video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so we're on the PS2, so let's go ahead and do this. So what we're gonna do is go to open PS2 loader. Like I said, I have one of the latest daily builds or close enough to it that has the ability for you to run pop starter games in it. And let me show you my setup real quick, just to make sure that everything is good to go. So if I press um, start, and if I go to settings, and we can see that if I go down here, USB device mode is auto, PS, PS1 games mode is auto, default menu, I just have it as PS1 games, so okay. Go ahead, save your changes. Okay. And then if you want your cover art to show up, then go to display settings, and just make sure that you know this is on basically, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead, run the game. I do apologize if the screen is shaking a little bit. It's just the way my video capture card is for this PS1 for whatever reason, but after a while it stabilizes, so I do apologize in advance for that. And momentarily, I, this is USB, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to load. Of course, you want the best, then go ahead and load over um, SMB, of course. Okay, so this is a good sign. We got the PlayStation logo. And like I said, if you don't have the cheat codes enabled, then you might get a black screen or some kind of TV error after the logo disappears. Like I said, if that happens to you, add the cheat codes, you might have to restart the game two times, and you should be good to go based upon uh, the limited experience or feedback I have received. So let's go ahead and just give a real quick gameplay that yes, this works. Um, if you're a fan of the game, um, by all means give this a try or whatever other games you're interested in doing the pop starter, pop starter method, excuse me, on your PS2. This works for the fat, it works for the slim. Um, if you have the newer 9K models, you have Funtuna or Fortuna Project, for example. Yeah, you can run Pop Starter. This, that should not be an issue as well. All right. So there you go, it works. So that's today's video game tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.